You can use Outlook to set up uh, and schedule a meeting and invite, you know, different people to come and attend. Uh, and it makes it really convenient for contacting those people and telling them what it's about, you know, besides just uh, sending them all an email. Now, this does get a little bit tricky. There are some advanced topics, things that we can't really go into detail here about uh, because we're dealing with exchange servers and, you know, web meeting spaces and all this kind of stuff. So I'm not going to get really elaborate, but if I had, let's say that I had a three o'clock meeting that I'd like to uh, invite people to, I can double click at three o'clock and that's going to create just a regular appointment. Now let's make it a, well, let's make it an hour and a half long. And the subject is going to be on Google promotion. Okay, and it's going to be located in conference room 1A. Now at this point, I could put in some other details, okay, about, about the meeting. But at this point, I've just got the meeting scheduled. So if I do save and close, then there's my meeting. But nobody knows about it. And instead of me going out and emailing everybody that I want to attend that, I can double click on it. Or actually, while I'm in here, you can do it. You don't have to close it and double click on it. But up here, it says invite attendees. Click on this option. And then you get a little two button and you can go through your contact list. So I've got people, I'll click on one, and they're required. I absolutely need them to come. Let's uh, let's see, I need him to come too. And this one right here, that's optional. And there's going to be some resources, somebody that's going to help us out. Okay, so you've got a lot of different options there. Click OK. And then all of that gets popped in there. So when I send this, it is essentially like sending an email to all of these people. They're all going to get notified of this meeting and they'll have an opportunity to it's like an invitation they'll have an opportunity to accept it or reject it now I'm not actually gonna send it to those people because I don't want them showing up and I don't even have a conference room 1a <laughs> but I don't want to get any kind of funny email saying what in the world are you talking about so I'm gonna go ahead and cancel that but you would click send and all of this information would get sent to all of those recipients now another way to do this I'll go ahead and cancel it and another way to do this, let's go ahead and delete that, is you can set this, go and click once on the time where you want to set the appointment or the meeting, and right click, go to new meeting request. So this gets you right to the same dialogue without having to click, you know, to invite attendees. And if you're one of those anti right click people, click on the little drop down here where the arrow is, and you can go down to meeting request here and that'll create a new meeting request again it's the exact same thing let's go ahead and cancel that delete that and up next we'll look at this from the other end of things what if somebody sends you a meeting request I'll show you how to handle that